Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Vienna with Glitter Baddies Boutique and today I am going to help answer a very common question about resealing your snow globes after you've already sealed them. So the answer to that question is yes, you can definitely remove the bottom seal and redo your tumbler if needed. This is a tumbler that I made for myself almost a year ago. It was my first Starbucks brand tumbler that I made for myself and as you can see, I did not fill it up all the way back then, and it's been just like that for this whole time. So what I wanna do is remove the bottom, refill it, reseal it, and make it like brand new again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my heat gun here and just apply a little bit of heat. I applied about maybe 30 seconds to a minute of heat. You can use a blow dryer if you don't have a heat gun and just apply some heat, what that does is it loosens up that resin and allows you to ply it off. As you just saw, I was able to grab my weeding tool and just gently remove that bottom seal with no issues. And when I took off that seal, the original mini glue stick or bumper that I had there to fill the hole, one of them came off and the other one didn't, that's fine. So I went ahead and worked with just the one hole. That's all you really need. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill up with my solution. I am still using a two thirds distilled water and one third Elmer's glue solution. And I used a little bit of rubbing alcohol, just like I do in all my snow globes, just to pop any air bubbles. And I'm gonna continue filling this up as much as possible. And since I'm just refilling it, I personally don't let it degas like I normally do because there aren't as many air bubbles in the solution as it was in the beginning or like when you're first making it. So I'm just gonna go ahead, you can see here, um, there really isn't a lot to work out because the solution is already settled over the course of a year. So the purpose of this video again is just to refill the snow globe and make it look brand new again. As mentioned in the beginning, there was no leaks in this cup. It's just a cup that I had done when I first started doing these and I didn't know how to fill my snow globes properly, so it's always had that gap of air, and now I'm just going back and refilling it so I can look like all my other snow globes. So to continue, I go ahead and grab a new plug for my hole. I cut down a mini glue stick just like my other snow globes, and since one of the holes was still filled, I only needed to fill the one hole, and I'm grabbing my UV resin from Resin Rockers. I will link these supplies below for you. I did still cover both holes just to ensure that there were not going to be any leaks later. So after covering both holes with UV resin, I grab my lighter to pop any air bubbles in the resin that will help avoid any leaks. I do that for both sides and I go ahead and cure under my UV lamp, which will also be linked below for you. I cure it for about 120 seconds. There are three settings on this lamp. I just use the 120 second one. I can see that it is cured. I don't feel any leaks up front, but I'm gonna go ahead and shake it and then leave it on a piece of dry paper to see if there's any leaks. I let most of the glitter settle. I can see that there are no leaks. I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glitter the bottom just to have a nice finish on the snow globe. You can definitely finish here if you'd like, but if you wanna have a nice even surface, I recommend covering with glitter and you cover those holes as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glitter. This is a jumbo bottle of the Bubble Pop Electric from It's Pretty Personal. I will link them below as well with my discount code. And it is a glitter that I used inside the snow globe when I first made it. So I wanted to help match the bottom. So I have a nice finish. Again, this is my personal cup, so I didn't necessarily need to do all this, but I wanted to do it for the purpose of the video to show you how I would do this for any of the snow globes that I have. I will say that I personally don't have this issue come up too often, but I did notice when I was out at one of my pop-up markets, it was really hot that day and it did cause some leaking in some of my snow globes. So I will have to use this process here to refill and reseal some of the snow globes that that happened to. So it may come up, it may not, but I think this is a really helpful tip for those of you people who are just starting out and may need some help with this, or maybe you have leaks after you've already sealed, you thought it was good to go. Now you know that you don't have to throw away your cups, you can still save them and redo them as needed. So I mixed up a good amount of UV resin and glitter and smoothed that out. And then I do still like using the lighter over the glitter mixture with my UV resin. That's gonna help settle the glitter a little bit so you get a nice smoother finish sooner instead of having to do more layers. 
And once that's done, I cure that again for 120 seconds or longer if needed, and you are good to go. I hope this was helpful. And if you guys have any questions, make sure y'all drop them below. And if you haven't checked out my Facebook group, make sure y'all do. We have almost 5,000 members who are a part of this community where we help each other out, give each other tips and tricks, as well as offer some suggestions and overall support for your Tumblr and Snow Globe journey. I also will randomly do some glitter giveaways. So if you guys are interested in any free glitter, make sure y'all join as members. And if y'all are interested in seeing any more of my work, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Also, make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get notified anytime I post a new video here on my channel. And thank you guys so much for all the support and thank you guys so much for watching.